Alrighty, what is going on guys? Joe here back again with another commentary for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these. Let me know if you are. I really like to kind of explain things, kind of what's going on in the video, just give you guys some more context, a little bit more insight into my mindset. But anyways, this was my third workout in the week last week, and this is the workout where, actually this is my fourth and final workout I should say. Um, this is the workout where my main lift is going to be a weighted pull-up currently, and um, on this day I had two sets of six to eight reps with 25 pounds added, which is what I've been working with for about four to five, no, six weeks now, and um, so I had two sets of six to eight reps, and then I had an AMRAP set for the last set, which was AMRAP means as many reps as possible, so trying to push it here, and I was able to get 10, which is what you're seeing right now. So on pull-ups, guys, I'm really focusing on pulling my chest to the bar, putting my elbows in my pockets, and making sure that I'm not just focusing on getting my chin over the bar. So as you'll see, the, the form will start to get a little bit um, shaky for my liking, where I'm not pulling out as much as I am just pulling up and that is going to really reduce the amount of lat contraction and it's going to take over a little bit more of that upper back as you can see there versus when you are really pulling out and up and bringing that chest to the bar itself. But that was my main movement for the day. I then moved on to my secondary movement which is my second squat variation of the day um, or of the week I should say. Right now I'm doing a safety bar squat. I've been working with 225, something really light, something that I can really focus on my form with because the tempo I'm given um, programming wise is a pause squat as you see there. So slow descent, about a two second descent, a slight pause in the hole for about a second, and then an explosive um, concentric rep out of the hole back up. So that is really what I'm doing here. I was working with three sets of five reps and really just focusing on that form, going beltless still, and um, as you'll see in the, the following week um, after this, which is going to be in the next video, I do add my sleeves, my belt, and my Oli shoes back in. So we should be feeling a lot stronger adding those back in now that we have worked without them for a while. So after those two main movements, my main movement and my secondary movement for the day, I then moved on to my accessory work, which was a tri set here of lateral raises with dumbbells, then I went straight into a dumbbell bent over elbows out row. So what does that mean, Joe? Essentially, it's an elbows out row where palms are facing the ground. Um, essentially, you're going to be focusing on the upper back and rear delts with a pronated grip with your elbows flared. So as you're seeing here, I'm really focusing on those rear delts and upper back, almost like a face pull, if you will, but in a bent over variation. So I like to treat it like a hip hinge or an RDL. So as I'm starting out, you saw me just kind of bend and hinge at the hip and then what happens then is you're going to set your back flat and then start the rowing process from there. You can't really see it because I was really poor with my angles here but the third and final movement of the tricep is a squeeze push up. So med ball squeeze push up so I basically have my hands on a med ball and then I'm doing a push up. It's much like a hex press with a dumbbell but it is a lot better in my opinion because you get the best of both worlds with shoulder stability added because the ball is obviously um, round so it's going to want to move around on you and you get a great pump as well as some core stability being that you're in the push-up position. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video. On one side, the passenger side, fully, de uh, fully modeled stormtrooper decals. So you're talking this tall on mm -hmm. the windows. It's like pretending they're in the car? Yeah, they, you know, at first glance, if you're not from a distance, you're thinking they're people. And they're stormtroopers. I mean, fully modeled from the head, from the shoulders up. And then they've got all this other shit on the back of the car. All this Star Wars getting there. I mean, right? So it's uh, currently 10.30 at night. <clears throat> and I'm about to go for a run. Why? Because sometimes you just got to do things that your mind tells you to. It's 19 degrees outside. But um, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. This is where a lot of people are like, what the fuck, Joe? And honestly, I don't really know what to tell you, but other than I've always kind of been a weird person like this. I wrestled. I love that grind mindset. I love being able to be in a state where I'm not 100% comfortable, but I'm able to push through it because that mindset and that ability to keep going, finding that place, I think it's so important to be able to do in every aspect of life when shit starts to hit the fan and you really are at a down sort of valley 
if you will, in your life. I think it has some merit to it, and I think exercise, fitness, running, especially cardio, because you're really just grinding and you just keep pushing, keep pushing. I think it has a huge carryover into everything in life, but anyways, let's go do it. All right, guys, so here's what I actually ended up running that night. I ended up running just three miles, just over three miles at 8.30 pace. Felt really good. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys very soon in the next one. Peace out.